With just a computer, access to the internet, and some scripting, you can truly create your own front page game. Learning to script isn't too hard, and if I could go back in time, this is exactly how I would do it. This video is broken up into a few sections, including your mindset, learning scripting, and your developer environment. And it's definitely hard, but if you're willing to put in just a little bit of work, you can learn how to script by yourself in just as little as a month. So whether you're a builder, UI designer, or have no Roblox development experience, this video is meant for you. Let's get into it. Mindset. Scripters and programmers alike think differently when it comes to solving problems. We approach our lives and problems in a certain way. I can confidently say that my day-to-day -day life became different when I learned how to script. We know and understand that no matter how difficult the problem is, there is always a solution. Adopt a coding mindset. For every problem, annoyance, or task even outside of the script editor and Roblox Studio, as someone who wants to learn how to script, you need to begin thinking and get into the mindset that there is always a solution. You just have to find it. Whether that solution takes a few seconds, minutes, hours, or even days to solve, there is always a solution. This means that the internet is your best friend. Your keyboard is broken? Don't worry, pull up YouTube and search for a fix. Windows blue screen? Don't worry, Google Windows blue screen with the error the screen gave you. Problem solving. The reason a lot of people quit scripting is because they get stuck on a really huge bug and literally rage quit. As a scripter, you need to believe that you can solve the problem. At 3am working on something like a buggy pet system, the only thing that keeps me moving is the fact that there is a solution, I just need to find it. The next thing I want to cover is that the computer is always right. If you're ever working from a tutorial and it works for the person in the video, but something goes wrong on your end, you can't blame the computer you copied something wrong. This happens far too often even on this channel as I make tutorials. Coding is just a tool for problem solving. It's actually just the easy part. The part where you need to solve the problem is the hard part. It's the part where, again, most people quit scripting. You don't have to know the whole LuaU library. Heck guys, I don't even know the whole LuaU library. What you do need to know is the problem solving part. Once you have that down, coding becomes the easy part. Learning. This section of the video will guide you on what you need to do in order to learn scripting, and how I would have done it if I could go back in time. First, get familiar with a certain strand of scripting. Learn a certain side of scripting and get comfortable with it. It doesn't have to be what you use in the future or what you even want to do. Find something easy like data store service and master it. To be honest, I wish I had done something easy first and then moved on to step two. After you master that one thing, branch out. For example, player service and data store service go hand in hand. Then connect that to something like GUI and use that to branch into remote events, local scripts, and scripting the UI on players' screens. One thing I want to add before the next section is that you are always learning. After a year of commissions, I'm still learning and it won't ever stop. That brings us to the next section, personal projects. Now that you have knowledge of front-end, local scripts and UI, and back-end, like saving data, start making a personal project. This right here is mine. Now it's not the best game on Roblox, but it's better than what a scripter who just started without the help of this video could make by themselves, and I'm proud of it. Now it doesn't have to be a simulator, but it can be anything you want. I would personally now do an obby that saves your stages and spawns you at the stage you left at for my first personal project. Your developer environment. Your dev environment is one of the most important things you should be taking care of. Roblox Studio really limits us, and you don't want to get into Rojo and Visual Studio Code at this point, so I recommend taking 5-10 to 10 minutes and customizing Roblox Studio to your liking. Remember, you don't have to copy me, and you can use whatever works best for you. Congrats! Remember, Coding is problem solving, typing is the easy part. By this point, you are well on your way to becoming a scripter, you think about things the right way, and you have the motivation and patience it takes to solve problems. I truly believe in you guys. Good luck out there.